Fade it out. Fade it out. Fade. Yeah, it's almost the end. Oh, Jimmy's over here with his camera. Oh my God. Say hi to Carly. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie pie. Wish we were here. Hi, baby. Love you. Wish you were here. Where's Bill? Bill's down here. Don't get, don't get him going. He's happy just laying here. Hi, baby. It's almost time for the wedding. Look at the little thing. We got Kimmy and Steve <laughs> over. Oh, Willow. Shh. Really? Don't even think about it. Okay, you just saw someone in a boat. Shh. Sit down. Welcome and thank you all for being here to share in this joyful occasion with Tina and Bob. My name is Carol Merrill and I have the pleasure of doing this ceremony today. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Tina and Bob. We come together to mark the start of a new chapter in a wonderful relationship that although came later in life for both of them, they have discovered a new love that is amazing and full of hope, joy, and commitment to an everlasting future together. This day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends that are here today. Marriage is a commitment in life where two people find and bring out the very best in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining that has a promise of a lifetime together. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller. Memories are fresher. Commitment is stronger. Marriage encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. This is, I am sure, what you, Bob, want for Tina, and it is also what you, Tina, want for Bob. When a couple treats each other with kindness, love, and respect, the best of what marriage has to offer is the result. You can feel it filling this day and each and every one of us can feel it too. This is 
not the beginning of your lives together, but the opening of new challenges and new experience. You have both endured and experienced and walked through the muddy waters that life can give us sometimes. But they say patience is a virtue. And it would appear that you both believe that more than ever now. You have found a love that you thought you would never, ever have. You know that in every marriage there are good times and bad, times of joy and in sorrow. This new beginning will be a time of adventure and excitement enhanced by the love, trust, dedication, and faith you share with one another. May the promises you make to one another today be lived out to the end of your life. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys but today is the day that it all begins. Tina and Bob, we will now do your vows. Now, Tina and Bob have chosen to do their own vows today. So, Bob, would you please present your vows to Tina? No, you first. <laughs> Our first fight. <laughs> My dearest Robert, you, my love, are an idiot. <laughs> but you're my idiot, and it's all of those idiosyncrasies that make me love you. You are kind, and you're loving, and you are the best friend I could ever ask for. I promise to be a good wife to you, respect you, and care for you, and I will stand by your side on the dock as we both count the 11 billion stars up in our sky, all the while knowing that if you could, you would reach up and you would get the brightest star just for me. On this wedding day, I ask that during our life together, you will not steal, you will not lie, and you will not cheat. If you must steal, I ask that you steal away my sorrows and my tears and replace them with your love and your kisses. If you lie, I ask that you please lie with me every night and wake with me every morning. And if you cheat, please, my love, choose to cheat death because I cannot imagine one day on this earth without you. You hold my heart, now you hold my hand. Let's do this. <laughs> Can I get a redo? <laughs> <laughs> My speech is better, honest to God, it is. Now he's without something to say. <laughs> Wonderful. May I have the ring, please? <laughs> this. Now, Bob. As you place this ring on Tina's left hand, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That you may wear it. You may wear it. As a symbol of the vows. A symbol of the vows. We have made this day. We have made this day. I pledge you my love and respect. I pledge you my love and respect. My laughter and my tears. My laughter and my tears. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. <laughs> many, many changes today. Okay. Now, Tina, as you put this ring on Bob's left hand, please repeat after me. Tina, I 
Rub Bob, I give you this ring. Bob, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. <laughs> as a symbol of the vows. As a symbol of the vows. We have made this day. That we have made this day. I pledge you my love and respect. I pledge you my love and respect. My laughter and my tears. My laughter and my tears. With all that I am. With all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. Today you have pledged yourselves to a lifetime of caring for one another. May this be a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally renewed. Having pledged their commitment to one another, to love, honor, and cherish one another, in the presence of this gathering and by the authority vested in me, it is my honor and privilege to announce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. May now release Will the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Willow. <laughs> well, you should anyway. <laughs> no, I can't. Give it to Wendy. <laughs> she can hold them. Careful, watch for the bees. Thanks, John. No, but it could be. Oh, I'm a guy now. And Amelia was already under her signature. For several spots. You guys get three spots, these guys get two. Okay.